Hi, I'm Peter Cox from the T&D Work Methods Group. I'm here at the Millbury Learning Center along with Ray Turner and Joe D'Amato, a crew leader and line worker from the North Kingston, Rhode Island overhead platform. Members of Local 310 of the BUW UWA. They're going to demonstrate a newly approved tool, a manual hammer type ground rod driver. The Middletown Overhead Group needed to replace their current hammer type ground rod drivers. They were made by a local metal shop many years ago. They wanted to continue to use this type of driver, but needed to find a safer, commercially manufactured tool to comply with today's safety standards. They turned to the work methods group to help solve their problem. After some research, we were able to find a very similar tool manufactured by Southern Utility Repair Service, a company established by several former line workers in Atlanta, Georgia. As you can see, the SIR tool is very similar to their current drivers and offers an added safety feature, a flange cup on the end of the hollow handle that helps guide the ground rod into the handle and aids in keeping the rod within the handle while hammering. Let's go out into the training yard now and demonstrate this tool. The crew will now install a ground rod with the Sarah ground rod driver. First, we've confirmed a valid dig safe for this location. Ray and Joe have completed their pre-job brief, have all required PPE including hot hack, safety glasses, work gloves, approved work boots, in class 3 high-vis vest or shirt. They've also checked the work area for any obstructions or obstacles on the pole before beginning work. As you know, according to standards, the ground rod should be installed at least 18 inches from the pole and the top of the rod should be buried 6 inches below grade. First Ray digs the 6 inch trench from where the rod will be installed back to the pole where the number four ground lead will go. The ground rod is then placed in the trench and the Sir ground rod driver is then placed on the ground rod. By moving the driver up and down on the rod, the rod is hammered into the ground until all but approximately two feet of the rod remains above grade. The driver is then taken off the rod and the driver head is now used to hammer the rod completely into the ground. After the rod is fully below grade, the driver is removed. The ground clamp is attached to the rod and the number four ground lead from the pole is attached to the clamp. The molding is installed over the number four ground wire lead and to finish up, the trench and hole are backfilled. Tamp flat, and the installation of the ground rod is complete. This driver is available as an approved tool option in the online tool catalog and can be ordered through Stuart Irby Company. It can also be delivered directly to your platform or barn location. Please feel free to contact the T&D Work Methods Group in New York or New England anytime you have a question on tooling or have seen a tool you would like evaluated for inclusion in the approved tool catalog. We would be happy to help. Thank you for watching and have a safe day.